Hi, welcome to How to Retrieve Firewall Rules and Ports with PowerShell. In this video, we're going to walk through using the GetNet Firewall Rule commandlet to create a couple of reports detailing firewall rules and the ports used for those rules. So let's start with using the GetNet Firewall Rule, and we get a little bit of data back. Actually, we get a lot of data back. That might be a little bit more than we need. Let's filter it down a little bit, and we'll get just our inbound firewall rules. And we'll just get uh, display name, profile, and whether or not the rule's enabled. Oh, there we go. That's a little bit better. Let's take a look. Good list. It's got the data we need in it. All right. Let's take that data and assign it to the inbound rules variable. And this time, let's take that and sort that list on display name. There we go. That gives us at least an alphabetical listing of all our firewall rules. All right. Let's filter that down a little bit more still. Let's pick where our profile is domain or where the domain profile is part of the any group and then we'll assign that to the inbound rules domain variable there let's run that as a sorted list again and there we go now we have our list with just the domain or any profiles listed and finally let's uh, output that to a csv file so we can open that up in another application in this case we'll just use outgrid view to take a view of our CSV. There's our same list of data. Sort that alphabetically. Our profile is any or domain, and we can see which ones are enabled or not. Now for a second report, let's take our inbound rules domain, pipe it through get net firewall port filter, and in this case we're going to select instance ID, protocol, local port, remote port, and assign it all to the inbound domain ports variable. Let's let that run for a moment. Let's put that through a sorted list on instance ID, which is similar to display name, but not quite the same. For instance ID, you can see whether it's TCP, UDP, ICMP v4, and you've got your local port and your remote ports. All that's left now, let's put that into a handy dandy CSV file. Let's take a look at that one, sort it by name again. There's our report, ready for use. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.